I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. I seen this coming. Check out this picture. I seen this coming. <laughs> you know what? LeBron looks good in paint. Everybody behind him seems to enjoy it, too. <laughs> you looking good, LeBron. Looking good. The wristband and the... And the and what the fuck? <laughs> What's the gold chain for? <laughs> I guess he's trying to keep it at least a little masculine. <laughs> But anyway, I came across this picture you on social media. You know, black men, dark-skinned men, people of color, they look good in pink. You know? Have you noticed that? It goes good with their skin. It brings out the melanin. Yeah. Did you know? The how melanin. You, did you Is that know? what you call it? Melanin? Is that how you say it? Melanin? Melanin. You notice melanin? how I start talking and you just act like I'm not even here and you just start <laughs> talking? Have you noticed that? Did you do that? N nope. I think it's all up here. Think you imagining all that <clears throat> shit. You need to relax. That's what you need to do. But anyway, I I did some research on this picture right now. Well, y'all hear that? Keith did some research. <laughs> Keith did some empirical research. <laughs> Keith's a statistician over here. Right? So I came across this website. Go ahead and pull up the website. Looking good, LeBron. Well, that looks like LeBron to the right, but to the left, that don't look like LeBron. That looks like some gay black dude. <laughs> <laughs> now, the one on the left, that's LeBron all the way. He looks masculine. If he still he still looks masculine though, man. man. That dude's a beast. But you see a dude that's six foot nine walking down the street like that. I'm like, man. And, he, and you look at him crazy. He'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> Did he come over and beat your ass? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Happened a black man in a drip. <laughs> Cops show up, man. I don't believe that shit. <laughs> black man walking down the street look like LeBron wearing a pink dress and a pink. Pink Percy beat you with the <laughs> man. You know, you know it's a crime to you know make fake crime reports, right? <laughs> hey, so let me read. The let me see that pitch again. Yeah, let me see that pitch again. The only thing I don't understand, LeBron is looking at somebody like, "What you looking at?" <laughs> the guy on the red, he's like, "Somebody said, hey girl, he turned around." <laughs> <laughs> so let me hey hey, uh, if you wearing all that pink, why you wearing white shoes though, man? I don't know. Well, you want to wear go pink shoes, too? And you got a pink T-shirt, you got a pink purse, you got a pink... Even his belt is pink. Why can't he just go this with a pink shoe? ain't pink, that's burgundy. That's you, pink. It looks pink. It's a dark pink. You colorblind motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read the article, Kevin. Um, several photos of LeBron James wearing a pink skirt and top. How to recognize you got born in signs of liver disease. <laughs> <laughs> that's just Kevin. What you been looking at? You got liver disease? That's not my computer. Look, several photos of LeBron James wearing a pink skirt and top and carrying a pink purse recently surfaced online. The photos seem to have originated on Reddit before spreading all over social media. The original hey. post on Reddit claimed that James wore a pink skirt to celebrate the birth of his daughter. To celebrate the birth of your daughter? I, I bet you won't wear that shit in the hood. Hey, you wear that shit in West Hollywood. I bet you won't wear it in Compton. Hey, let me keep reading. Uh, many of James' critics shared the photos to take a shot at the L.A. Lakers superstar. However, it's important to note that the pictures are not real. Hey, Keith. The look, photos have either been photoshopped look or at generated by artificial look, intelligence. Look at the what? video. He's got, like, midget proportions. Look at his hands. <laughs> oh, a big-ass man like that with them little-ass hands. <laughs> look at his arms. <laughs> look at them little-ass hands. Yeah, looking like a damn T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> look how big his head is. Look. You can totally tell Look how fake. skinny his ankles is. <laughs> like a damn T-Rex. <laughs> LeBron look like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so let me keep reading. So it turns out these photos are fake, but I see a lot of people going in on him. Um, like they like a lot of times, see, that's what I hate about like when they take clips of like Trump, they take it out of context and then they post them with a caption yeah. and it makes them look bad, right? Vanity Fair. Yeah, but then they did this to LeBron James, and turns out this fake. And I see people doing rebuttal videos talking trash on him, yeah. and it wasn't even him. Man, that's man. I'm glad you point that out. Yeah, I'm man. glad you pointed it out. You know what? Time for a commercial break. Go over to Mike Glendale. Go to mypillow.com. You get up to sixty cent bits, six cent percent off. Tell him how, Key. Sixty six is six percent off. You get sixty six percent off. Tell him how, Key. You just use discount. You took too damn long. Use discount code Harsh Twins to get up to 66% off at mypillow.com. No. Y'all take care of that good white man over there. No, that's false advertising. You said 66% off. 66%. 66. All right. 
Let me see. Uh, that's me, a that's a great point you made. Can I say something? Let me see T. Can I say something? Let me see T. Rex, LeBron James, while you're talking. Go ahead and keep talking. Well, that's a distraction. I can't talk looking at that. Man, if that was real, LeBron James's ankles would break with under all that damn weight. <laughs> hey, man, turn that shit off. I can't even think looking at that. <laughs> like I was saying, you made a very great point, man. Look how easy it is to dupe society, right? A lot of people think LeBron is actually wearing a pink dress in the press. Look, this is what they've been doing to Donald Trump for like the last six years because the media's had an infatuation. They have been twisting the truth, bending the truth, making up things. Nobody don't know. They actually think the guy's a white supremacist. They actually think he's a criminal. They actually asked the, the AG who uh, for New York. They asked him um, for— um, What? Asked him for clarification on what are the actual laws that he broke and why wasn't that in the indictment. <laughs> the attorney general said— but So let me let me say as an initial matter that the indictment doesn't specify it because the law does not so require. Uh, so you can arrest somebody to tell them don't tell them what they did wrong. <laughs> what? What am I being arrested? Oh, I'm not required to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> just know you just broke the law and you go into jail. Yeah, that might be true in Russia or China, but this is the United States of America. I mean, that's that's a great point, you man. I like that, man. Now you see the fake news media, you should be able to from left and from the right, especially from the left, y'all need to wake up because everything you see on TV has majority of it's 99% is a lie. These lot people are twisted. on TV that's acting like they're happy Trump got indicted and arrested. Yeah. They're pretending. They know these charges are fake. And yeah. then when he gets, um, what's the word, vindicated. Yeah. When, uh, when, when, when it goes to trial and he's found not guilty or whatever, even mm. if it makes it that far. Right. You know. Then they're going to pretend like, oh, man, this is a travesty. They're just some people <laughs> above the law. <laughs> Damn good show. Damn good show. What? Damn good show. Shut up. Hey, I got short videos up here. I got long videos down here. Don't forget to support Mike at MyPillow.com and head over to our website over to OfficialHorseTwins.com. Get you some shit today. <laughs> Look at this shirt. Shirt clean as shit. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like, share the video. Ow, shit. Hey, Kevin. Because we got a damn country to save.